I know we all got right. more, but like... All right, can, let's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. We've got Teradax and Kreninja coming in. <laughs> all right, so... Cloud's interesting because people haven't played Cloud since Smash 4. This is a no. That's complete. That's a lie, completely. Uh, we do have chat on our screen. We though, can admit this. So, um, yeah, uh, Cloud very strong in this game. He has very good frame data. He has a big sword, which is always good to have, uh, and he has moves that kill you at 80, uh, based on whether or not he's hurt or runs away the whole time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, Twitch chat's apparently a, a stellar time. However, we are commentating. Yeah. Um, Teradax is really unable to get up the, the defensive zone that uh, she normally sets up. She'll get it. I mean, she'll get it eventually. However, right now she hasn't exactly gotten into her uh, comfort zone of XX Holy Water. I'm not entirely sure why I decided to commentate this set. I am extremely biased towards one of these parties. Well, that's fine. I can just commentate Kreninja. Well, um, I hope you do, because I'm commentating Teradax. Alright, uh, Teradax right now with a ledge trap. Kreninja doing a great job waiting it out. And back air coming through, getting Teradax off stage. Ooh, late limit, late beam. Gonna catch the weight ledge weight. Would have also might have also caught oh. uh, neutral get up. However, uh, holy water up smash from Halo, and it's back to neutral. Back back, back to swinging around, uh, throwing some projectiles. Uh, click the uh, and uh, oh, axe cross coming back, and that's the first hit of the second stock. Whoa, spelled W H O A. So true. Uh, Kreninja is a very patient player, so it's very likely he's going to be waiting for Teradax to throw a bunch of uh, projectiles and then punish on the way back, or wait for Teradax to be in a uh, not great spot and then just force his advantage. Uh, Kreninja is a really good player at continuously getting hits once uh, the opportunity comes. Uh, edge guard situation for Greninja, looking to get a two frame with a down tilt, but it doesn't quite connect. Tether recoveries are very great at dodging two frames because of the way they work, in that you basically always snap from below the ledge. Yeah, that's how uh, Tether works. I mean, sometimes you, uh, if you space it to be above the ledge, you can snap from above. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um. Yeah, so right now, uh, about even percent. Uh, oh, wow. The, uh, the really axe forward smash spicy. coming through. Terrible axe. Um, Alright, so right now we've uh, got Kreninja in the in the lead, uh, trying to get a ledge trap, not in the lead. Um, and Blade Beam going to catch Teradax without a jump. Oh wow. I'm surprised that uh, that first cross slash didn't connect. Uh, yeah, that move, if you don't get the first hit perfectly, there's a little bit of a tendency to fall out, but once you get the uh, second hit, pretty much connects together perfectly fine. Alright, Kreninja with the cross slash, almost has limit, likely trying to wait for it to be in a disadvantage. Uh, getting hit, gets limit, activated. Uh, Kreninja is probably looking to end this right here, uh, since he's got limit. Uh, limit Blade Beam gonna come out though, just a nice get off me after trying to deal with uh, Teradax's zoning. Kreninja likely to- ooh my god, tried to oh. call out the neutral getup with the forward smash. Now getting forced into a ledge trap, and Cloud's recovery does not ledge snap unless you are super close. So, uh, he did an excellent job recovering there at high percent. And, uh, Greninja probably just looking up to build up some kind of limit right now. Uh, ooh, Axe just chunking the shield. Dash attack coming through, Greninja three quarters of his way, almost full on limit. Uh, about to have limit, looking for a neutral air to edge guard. Uh, back here is coming out. We're gonna see Terry Dax go for a pretty risky dash attack. Blade beam and that's snipe. It. Gonna secure that stock. 
That was a close one. I don't know your... Alright, so we actually have a couple of donations to announce that have come out through this stream. Yeah. Um, well, let's big shout-outs to Alana Prince uh, for $21.10. Uh, we have an anonymous donation of $52.75. Wow, let's and go. Joseph Campanelli with a $50 donation. Love you, Joey. Thank you all so much uh, for coming out and donating for this event. We are now at eight hundred twenty-one dollars and eighteen cents. Uh, I still have to put in the donation, the extra donations, uh, the other half of the donations from the the tournament entries. I do have it all marked down. I just haven't gotten to it yet. I'll probably do it the next time I get up. Um, so yeah, we're I think we're we're doing an excellent job. We're we're almost at a thousand dollars, and let's see if we can get there. Yeah, yeah let's if, do it. If you can share this. We're number eight. We're also number eight in the uh, of what? What? Twenty-two. Oh, forty-two. We're number eight out of forty-two teams on Let's the relay go. For, on RIT's Relay for Life chapter. Uh, let's get that number higher. Let's pump it up. <laughs> All right, and we've got game two coming out. Uh, this time on small battlefield. Uh, I know Teradax really likes this stage. Oh yeah, she does. Um, a lot of it is the vertical, the vertical space that is good for landing, uh, while also the platforms, which are very good for staying under and camping and controlling space. Uh, Greninja looking for a way in. Up air is forcing a juggle. Uh, Teradax using her double jump, uh, but Greninja is not able to quite capitalize on it. Oh, that holy water was very good, perfectly spaced, so it broke on the ground instead of popping up on shield. And right now, Kreninja close to limit, has limit now. Uh, ooh, instant blade beam. Uh, ooh, incredible ledge snap. That just dodging that blade beam. All right, Teradax uh, on controlling ledge. Alright, we're going to see a back throw uh, to get Kuninja off stage. Probably looking for a bad DI. Might have wanted to capitalize on it. Kuninja has been... Oh, oh my goodness, the axe forward smash confirming again. She seems to get that once a game. So far, it's been once a game. Um, it is a very good confirm, but it does re require to, to kind of read the uh, axe hitting. Uh, however, it does also cover the weight option. Uh, if you want to get off ledge, you can just simply react to them re-grabbing it. And uh, it'll if the axe doesn't hit, the uh, the whip certainly will hit ledge. Alright, holy water, but the, the cross unfortunately gonna pop up the uh, pop for, uh, Kreninja out of the fire. And Kreninja taking the, the stock with limit cross slash. Alright, uh, I, I, my brain has been separated into multiple things that are happening in this room right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, neutral's happening. <laughs> uh, alright, Limit Blade Beam coming out from Kreninja. Kreninja's at a really high percent. Um, Teradax is controlling space pretty well. Uh, kind of forcing Kreninja into weird spots, but Kreninja right now, with the ledge advantage, looking for a down air. Doesn't quite get it. However, back throw, looking for a back air, doesn't quite get it either. Someone messaged me. Oh. Oh, and Teradex with the uh, kill on ledge. But very high percents. Probably gonna go to last stock here. Teradax just needs to build a little bit of percent here. And she gets her opening.
All right, I'm sorry for staying silent. I was dealing with uh, issues with the, the bracket. Someone was uh, looking to time someone out. Um, <laughs> and we've got... Uh, ooh, Greninja's got a slight lead on Pterodax. Limit's nearly coming up. Alright, forward throw gonna be from Pterodax, looking for a ledge trap. Axe, oh, Greninja axe jumping hits. into the axe, but... Ooh, and, and holy water up smash. Gonna that's take gonna the take the game. Gonna take the game. Uh, so it's one to one. It is one to one. Uh, um, now I'll I'll have you know, MRW did say that he would donate fifty dollars to anyone, uh, to to the charity if someone types times out uh, a Steve or a Min Min player on stream. Though on stream, they have to be on stream. Who the hell is Kagi Films? Why do I look like Kagi Films? I look awful. I guess that person looks awful. Um, I think I might look like Kagi Films. No, I don't know who Kagi Films is, but I'm just gonna say no. Um, let's go donations. Boo! Hope oh, someone's messaging me. I I will have to check that uh, after the match. Um, let's see. What stage are they going to? I am looking at Pterodax's screen. They Do are we going have any to Lilat Cruz. One of my favorite stages of the game. One of no the one has hated ever, stages. No know, one maybe. has ever picked Lilat Cruz in good faith. I like Lilat Cruz in good faith. Really? I do. I do. In fact, I liked it as we fit when they changed all of my ball angles. And, so made header, and made header cancels impossible to do at ledge. I like this stage. I think it's very fun. Uh, all the platforms are super low, and I like the the angles of the slants. All right, uh, right now it's a pretty even game. I'm uh, this was Kreninja's counter pick. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I, I wonder if Kreninja knows that Teradax likes this stage. And oh, we're gonna let's see go! A holy water axe forward smash come out from Teradax, just killing that stock super early. I think it's gonna be a back and forth kind of game. It might. It, uh, it, whoever builds momentum on this second stock is likely to take the the set. It's just best of three, right? Jake, it's just best of three, right? Yes, this is best of three. It's winners' quarterfinals. Only the finals are best of five. Hey, uh, Mr. Streamman, are finals set up for best of fives? Can you check, please? Because I don't want to have someone say, "Hey, losers' finals is best of three. Um. Um. All right, so. Teradax is doing an excellent job of holding onto this stock. Parry, holy water. Oh my god, that shield is a skittle. But Kreninja with the limit. Yeah, Kreninja does have limit. Uh, the way Blade Beam interacts on stages with slants is that it will go off the angle of the slant. Yep, like that. Yep. Uh, Alright, and that's the stock, but Teradax, Teradax has a lead here. Yes, she does. Uh, ooh, uh, tries to catch out every option except to jump. Uh, quite unfortunate. Get up attack doing pretty well there. Cringe doesn't seem to be ready for it. Uh, looks for an up out of shield, but it doesn't quite work out. Another up out of shield. I feel like Pterodax might be just hoping for things instead of trying to get her normal game on. Uh, I, I think she's getting her normal game on now. Yes. Ooh, oh, that's the that's opposite direction. That's actually a tragedy. Oh. That was weird. Yeah, the blade beam almost caught it. You gotta remember that it changes the angle of the shot. Down egg recovery. Oh my god, they're both terrified. Um, they're both. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Greninja yeah, right now is just spacing back here. Oh my god, that drift back was impeccable. But is it gonna be enough? No. Uh, whoever's gonna get the next solid hit. He's gonna take the stock, and as there was a solid hit, it wasn't quite solid enough. 
uh, Kunja with Limit, trying to catch uh, the Invincibility timeout with the Limit Blade Beam. Uh, doesn't quite time it right, though. Ooh, oh, no! That up was the wrong direction. Uh, fortunately for Teradax is that she does have unstaled moves now. Uh, so she might just take it with the next uh, whip. There, up the doesn't quite get it. Up oh, is very wow. hard to kill with, uh, despite uh, a lot of people DIing it wrong. Uh, that move does not kill for a while, even on stages with small ceilings like Lilac Cruz. Uh, limit Blade Beam coming up from Kreninja, likely because his limit was timing out, or just looking to get 25% for no reason. Oh my God, goodness. That was so close to killing. Uh, Haley. Teradax just just missing the forge. Belmont can't kill. <laughs> uh, I think Belmont can kill if the moves are the right moves. Forward throw. Okay, definitely there we the go. Stop. Finally. What? Uh, looking for a holy water grab there, but the the fact that Ninja was up in the air a little bit didn't make it connect. Uh, we're gonna see an axe on the shields. Uh, half shield health. Looking for. Oh air wow, beam. that was a nice. Nice yeah. little sequence there from Teradex. Yeah, the other the other sequence is uh, near grab from the from the drag down here. Right, oh no! Back here, gonna take it. <sighs> Very close set. Uh, Kreninja did just steal momentum at the end though and pushed.